Good morning, I'm Mr. Thompson and this is United News. Are you a grade 12 student? Have you attained marks sufficient for entrance to a post-secondary area of study? Have you contributed your time and services to Big Brothers and Big Sisters organization? If so, come see Ms. Starnes to learn about a $750 scholarship opportunity. Students are now able to register for summer school. To register, please make an appointment on the Chinook Learning Services website. Print out the confirmation form, then make an appointment to see your success advisor. And now for a special announcement from Ms. Martin. Good morning, it's Mrs. Martin coming to you with a public service announcement. Mandela students, I'm kind of sad about some things that I've learned about recently and it makes me sad because I'm very proud of the school that we have and I hope that you are proud of the school that you have as well. I guess what's disappointing is that we've just received the gym and we've got an amazing facility there and I've just recently learned that unfortunately we've got some students who are intentionally vandalizing parts of our building. So for instance, there's some washrooms there that have been intentionally vandalized, showers that are having um, shower heads ripped off. Um, unfortunately, we've had to close these. How sad is it that we, we've waited so long to get this facility and then it's being intentionally damaged? I guess what I'm asking is that, are you proud of your school? Um, if you are, then we need to make sure that we continue to do the things that will enhance our school. I'm also a little bit sad to learn that some of the technology that we have throughout the building is being intentionally vandalized. So apparently yesterday there were some keyboards that were damaged in the Learning Commons and the difficult thing is um, the more money we have to spend on replacing and fixing some of this intentional damage, the less money we have to spend on other things. And you know that we, we take pride in our school and we try to access and facilitate as many learning opportunities for students, but spending money waste, waste well, in a way that wastes, um, having to fix things that are intentionally damaged is sad. How many times have you walked through the learning commons or through the stadium area or even the pre-function area and you've seen myself or other teachers picking up after other students? So for instance, they're eating their lunch and they just get up and they leave and they leave the mess around either on tables or on the stadium stairs. I really would hope that, you know what, we all take pride in this building and that yes, we have caretakers, but you know what, their job is to, at the end of the day, look after our building and clean up, not to be picking up individually after each and every one of us. So I would hope that you would take pride in our building and show that Mandela spirit of really coming together to show that, you know what, we love our building, we like it and we want it to stay as amazing as, as possible. So please help us, um, help yourselves because you know what, Together we are united and I would hope that if you have information about some of the things that have been going on, some of the damage, some of the intentional vandalism that's happening to the building, that you might come forward to an adult in the building and let them know about this because it is disappointing and after all we want to keep our school as amazing as possible. Thanks very much for your time. Have a great day. Thank you Ms. Martin. Thank you for watching everyone and have a great day.